I saw that Harry wasn't strictly uh, dancing or something like that gave a message. Why not take the time to to wish his father happy birthday while well, he was giving that message to a friend who's not really a friend, you know, because they don't have any friends. He doesn't have any friends. All his friends are gone, basically. He's a, he lives in L.A., in California. He should be making friends over there. But why not take the time, the opportunity to wish his father a happy birthday? You know, I would have. Um, but no, he doesn't do that. Um, now, where is Harry getting the money to have a private secretary? Why does he need a private secretary? He's a, he's a private individual. He's no longer an institution. Archwell is not there, you know. Um, it's barely there. But where is he getting the money from? You know, uh, it's just... Where is the, you know, I'm just, I'm just asking these questions, but where, where are the $3 million from Disney? What happened to the, with the money for, transfer from the Royal Foundation to Archwell, to, sorry, to Travelist, to, to start, for him to set up his foundation? What happened to all of that? I think that, that what's happening is that because of public um, pressure and public outcry, he is setting up a foundation. Because if he doesn't, he would go to jail for real. Um, because the money that was transferred and all this public thing he said when he was in England was that all that money was for charity. So he, in, in a way, he has to set up a charity. Also, charities are um, profitable business for real as well. Um, I don't think Archwell is a, is a charitable foundation. It's a for-profit organization who does good for the world, but it's a, a for-profit LLC, I think. Um, so, but where is all that money? Uh, we're talking almost $4 million. And I don't think Netflix has paid them a lot of money. Now, people talk about, I've said it so many times, from the time I saw Oprah walking into their wedding, I thought, what the hell is she doing there? I knew that they were recording everything. And you will see that there will be... Um, a documentary, not a documentary. Yeah, it's gonna be. Yeah, they, they sold their stories. They're gonna, you're gonna see their kid a lot. This is why they're keeping him on the wraps because they, you know, the kid in the documentary will be a big part of it. Do you remember when Megan was last in England? How she went to that school and they had this footage of her from the back, you know, uh, high fiing the students and stuff like that. You know, she was using them. That was that's all gonna be filmed for their farewell tour. You're going to see all of that. That's what they got paid for. And maybe a sit-down interview to trash people out in the royal family. So they have nothing else to contribute. Nothing else. What is the royal family waiting, waiting to remove him from the royal website? Yeah, they don't have to wait until the 31st. Now, the royal family has not, the, 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 the veterans site uh, where they have a Harry listed as HRA, it still hasn't removed that HRH. That is, that's just a phone call. Hey, you know, can you please remove the HRH? I'm not allowed to use it. But the reason why they haven't removed it is because Harry hasn't made that phone call. And this is a way for them to test the royal family, to test, to see if they will do something, you know. Because just like abusive people, they push and push to see if they get any pushback. They haven't gotten any pushback from the royal family in regards to the HRH. So they're going to continue using it even more. The next time you're going to see, they're going to be referring to Megan as HRH in another event because nothing happened. There was there were no consequences with the HRH being used in uh, for the veterans show. It is a disgrace how, how the royal family has fallen because right now, okay, Harry and Megan are idiots. That is a given. But the royal family, the, they're current royal family has a duty to protect the monarchy and the reputation of the UK and they're failing to do that. Uh, they brought back Andrew. I don't think Andrew is a pedophile. I really don't. But he has done so many shady deals. So many shady deals. And so is, has as, as Prince Charles. Sorry about that. Prince Charles is, is the worst of them all. He was selling his... Uh, Weight rose, uh, sorry, his um, vegetables or whatever it was to to weight rose. 
you know, uh, he stopped, but he's been merching stuff for years. Pretty soon the, the, the royal family is going to have a mall, <laughs> you know, that's how low it is. The royal family do uh, is um, the working royal members is to do public duties to help and represent the UK. They're supposed to be above anything. Uh, they're not supposed to be celebrities. They're not supposed to be um, selling stuff, you know. Uh, they, Charles now is is uh, doing couture, if you if if you know what I mean, and he is enabling Harry and Meghan, absolutely enabling them, absolutely. Make no mistake about that. So he deserves whatever uh, limelight stealing that Harry is doing because, um, you know, he's allowing this to happen. He's financing them. He should. He, why did he need to finance a Harry? He's a millionaire. Now, I'm really glad the Queen is saying that there's going to be the Platinum Jubilee because that basically shuts everybody up, saying, hey, I am still in charge, which is great because nobody wants Charles, really nobody. And the reason why nobody pays attention to Prince Charles is because he has no credibility. Nobody respects him because of who he is. He, he's not a trustworthy person. He has demonstrated that over and over and over. This is why he has no respect. And and the problem when somebody has no respect is that nobody listens to you. Nobody cares to what you have to say. And this is what's happening to Prince Charles and Camilla. Whereas Prince William and Catherine, I can guarantee you that Prince Charles couldn't organize the 50 million pound uh, price reward for the environment because nobody would want to do that with him because again he has no credibility but prince william does now harry and Meghan, you're going to be see that they're going to be using the hrh trump is going to win the election and i hope that he kicks them out at least harry and that he forces her to either pick the title or pick this U.S. citizenship because they're both absolutely disgusting people. You're going to see that in the documentary, that child, that poor child, will be um, will be featured heavily, her farewell tour. You will see a lot of footage from that because she took the cameras. You will see her in, um, in inside look at her wedding and other things, you know, going. So the royal family, I'm very disappointed. They haven't, you know, I, I, I am... I am a royalist, but it's getting harder and harder to be one. Anyways, what are you thinking? Good Sunday. <laughs>